I get the money. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills. With that, it's time for Super Bowl 54, and we'll send you now to Miami, standing by to call their fourth Super Bowl together. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, the road ends here. It has been a wild, often unpredictable 2019 season. And now it's time for the greatest spectacle in all the sports. Super Bowl 54 from Miami. You know, this town has played host to 10 Super Bowls in the past. And tonight, we write chapter number 11. And what a matchup we've got. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Buffalo Bills taking on the NFC champions, the Green Bay Packers. Brandon Gaughton alongside Charles Davis. Charles, the Bills come into this one still seeking that elusive first ever Super Bowl title. Hard to believe they don't have one because you have to remember back in the day, as the kids like to say, they went there four straight times. Super Bowls 25, 26, 27, and 28. They lost to some of the Giants of the NFL at that time, though. They lost to the, the Giants. That was the first one. <laughs> they lost to Washington, and they lost to Dallas twice. Some great names on those Bills teams. Jim Kelly at quarterback. Marv Levy was their head coach. Where would you rather be than right here, right now? He used to love when he would say that. Thurman Thomas on that team, but they never won one. Had a best chance against the Giants in the first one. Came up a field goal short. Hard to believe this Bills franchise, no Super Bowl wins. Meanwhile, the Packers are back as they look to bring another Super Bowl title home to a place aptly named Titletown. And they're looking for their fifth win, which would tie them with the Cowboys and 49ers for second all time. They did last win it in 2011 of a Super Bowl 45. Aaron Rodgers leading them over the Pittsburgh Steelers. But when you talk about titles, and you mentioned Titletown, They've won 13 championships overall when you count all the NFL titles prior to the Super Bowl era as well. So this is a town that's used to winning, and they expect to win this one as well. The first Super Bowl of the new decade, Super Bowl 54, is underway. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Bills head out, led by Josh Allen. What a meteoric rise from Wyoming to the seventh overall pick in 2018. Now in his second NFL season, starting quarterback for the AFC champions. Now a first carry for LaShawn McCoy. On play action, Allen nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Oh. On third and long, it's Allen. And he finds Tyler Crawl. The whole being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. The Packers offense led out by number 12, Aaron Rodgers, making his second Super Bowl start. And this is a career-defining night for Rodgers. A second title would surely cement his legacy. He'd love to take a re... <laughs> now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, long time, often will get two or three blocks on the same play. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. 17 yards on the play there. On first down, Rodgers. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And that is incomplete. 
Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Quickly now, a look at the Buffalo defense. Angler Enzo Alexander is the ultimate chameleon in the NFL. Has reshaped his body to play different positions. Fullback, defensive tackle, defensive end. Throwing again. Rodgers eluding the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing okay. over out of bounds. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The... Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. With a few plays and it didn't seem to work. You know, you were you the smart one. Whatever they're doing. Williams will try again. And he is. Rodgers now on third and goal. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay with the first touchdown of this Super Bowl as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first, an ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script a probe and they're eye for them. Not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offensive move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> They'll get four out of that, and it'll bring up the third down. Now let's take a look here at the Bills offense. I know I'm not supposed to be biased, but LaShawn McCoy is one of my favorite running backs in the game. Vision gets the running backs have, the best ones in the game. Thinks that no one can stop it. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. Rodgers now on first down. It's caught here by Adams. Someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Adams. Now it's Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. They taught his catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> drop it. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that I'm sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that won to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touch. And now... Allen hands off to McCoy. And it allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your... Allen hit. He lost the football. says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Not one that I've ever met. To throw once more on second and ten. Rodgers, that's caught by Geronimo Allison. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 15 there. In the Shotgun now for Rodgers. Open here is Allison, 21 yards. To throw, it's Rodgers. And it's caught, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Well, 
not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet, you're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated? They are all the way home for a Bills touchdown. John Brown, 75 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. And a lot of football, full half to be played. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now Joe, yards to go. Throwing is Rodgers. That'll be... He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is. At the six-yard line. going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight, as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season from beginning to end. And now we'll play one half of football to decide who raises the Lombardi Trophy. And for the call, let's get it right back to Brandon and Charles. He's working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack this. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Micah Hyde comes flying in from safety for the sack. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Jones. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Escaping the pressure right. And Adams has it, complete. Offside, defense. After the penalty, it's Jones. On second and 11 now. Rodgers, now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that. Now, after the holding penalty. Allen going to throw. It's for his running back, McCoy. On second down, it's McCoy. And let's see here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off the bunch more plays. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. 54 yards away. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay with really. And you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout it. Yeah. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Got him. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off 
inside the five. And the return goes up to his own set. Open. Gotta know that you're open, otherwise, just don't do it. Now a deep ball gonna be caught here near midfield. And he's gonna be taken down here with a penalty flag. Only really explosive play. It gets wiped out, and they have to start over. And he goes down, it's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Slipping into the backfield for the sack was Oren Burks. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall, and they could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the Difficult. Field. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. McCoy. And McCoy loses the football. And the Packers pick it up. And that will set him up in excellent shape. First and goal at the nine-yard line. Cash in, first and goal. Now Jones. And a nice and goal. They'll try again with Jones. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. Into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always punch it in on you. That's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise... They'll come up on a first and ten. Allen going to leave it on the draw for McCoy. And an alley to run. Rashawn McCoy off to the races. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Deshaun McCoy, 61 yards, and the Bills cut into that lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, are almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Now Rodgers. Ain't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass incompleting. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here. Down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to... From the shotgun to give to Jones. Oh. They'll go again to Jones. And, and, and see what they want to do after that. Rodgers going to throw. And he finds Jimmy Graham. Less than two minutes remain here in Super Bowl 54. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes. Rodgers looking to throw. Flush to his right. And that's complete to Adams. And out of bounds. They just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks it. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And a grab by Kron. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. On your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass first lead. But he's able to. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And the Until the guy just got the sack, that it no longer counts. And the ball, they're going to need this one on fourth down. To the air, Allen looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. And a Not a good play. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win. 
On second down now, it's Jones. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And the Lombardi Trophy is going back home. The Green Bay Packers are your Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gordon signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.